Oh no, guys, the tornado sirens are going off. Oh, shucks, it's three in the morning. We gotta get downstairs. Oh, the roof is leaking again. Dang it, who left the front door open? Oh, come on, shut the door. We gotta go, we gotta go. It's looking like it's raining cats and dogs out there. All right, should we go in here? I don't have a basement, the bathroom. There's a lot of glass in there. Let's try the washing room. Oh gosh, the house is shaking. Well, I think we made it. We better get out of the corner here. It's now 5 a.m. Hopefully the house isn't destroyed. I heard some terrible noises. Well, our place looks pretty good. The clouds in the sun rising honestly look kind of scary. We're gonna take one of our trucks, cruise around town, see if there's any damage. <gasps> oh no, I'm getting a call from boss, <gasps> man. This is never good. <gasps> Hey, hey. What's going on? Where you at? Ah, uh, yeah. So, you know where our warehouse is? I need you to come over here. It's, yeah. um... We have all the Amazon good. trucks? Yeah, it's not good. Like, not even remotely good. You just need to come see it, and it's it's gonna be a rough day. The news said that we a tornado came close, but it never hit town. No, it didn't hit the regular town. It hit our town. All right, I'm on my way. Well, everything looks good at the gas station, at AutoZone. I don't see any crazy damage to, like, trees. Typically, you see, I mean, there's some branches scattered about because I think we had, it like, 80 mile an hour winds plus. The warehouse is just a mile down this road straight ahead. Sounds like Boss Man's already there. Oh, no. I see police lights. This is never good. Oh, the road's super wet. Good thing we kind of paved it. Oh, my goodness. Boss Man, what the heck is going on? Yeah, um... Did we have a mudslide? This isn't good. We, we had a tornado, man. Holy We biscuits. had a tornado, and it, of course, started here, and it just ripped through pretty much, I'd say, 90% of our businesses. This is what a tornado can do to the ground? What happened to our buildings? Yeah, just look around, man. Nothing's looking good. All right, I'll pull up there. Be careful. There is debris everywhere. Yeah, I brought the tracks out. I can't get a flat tire with these babies. Oh, no. Like, it whose looks truck like... even is this? I don't know, dude. It looks like some people were stuck in the storm's path. Oh, there's another guy in a ditch. A van is flipped over. It looks like fire department and police are here. Yeah, is everybody that, okay? Yeah, everyone's okay. And that fire truck is stuck up there, by the way. So that's why the ladder's like that. Oh, my Look at goodness. Our everything. It's just destroyed our trucks and trailers they're all totaled the buildings don't look terrible it's a couple garage doors blew wide off oh my goodness look at these trucks here they're playing jenga yeah one got lifted up all oh, the paint oh geez that's not good all the windows are blown out the trailers are totaled these are not expensive trucks or these are not inexpensive trucks yeah, and it goes right to the baseball stadium look at all our amazon trucks man there's one on the roof oh my goodness yeah, I don't know how we're going to deal with any of that. Like, tow trucks are going to be coming in handy today. Look at this guy. How do I even get here? These are all moved around. Let me get skinny. Look at this truck. It's in the roof, dude. I probably shouldn't stand underneath it. Oh, my goodness. I did not even see that one. That's not good. Look at this, man. It just keeps going and going. It even hit our power sports store. Dang, this is a pretty cool fire truck. He's got floodlights up there. Anyway, I should probably pay attention, but it looks like we're the only ones that got hit. Like... All of the land we own, all the buildings and businesses, it seems well, we like... we do own, like, half of the city, so that could be part of it. That's true. Well, I'm happy it didn't go actually through town and it just hit our stuff out in the country, so that's always a good sign. Hey, we have a free ladder, though. Did you see that? Yeah, and a swing set thing right there. Another tree is down. So this is where... So the storm went the way we're walking, you're telling me? Yep. It pretty much stayed on the road for this part, which is kind of nice. Did it hit the church? I don't think so. It seems like it kind of turned here and then dwindled out. All right. Well, we have our work cut out for us. I'm happy it didn't hit like the hotel or our new campsite we built and all those people staying at the hotel. That would have been really bad. It's crazy the damage it does to the ground right near the end. Like, look at this weird just, yeah. I didn't know it could do this. Just churns up the dirt, sends it. Well, let's get all our tools. Let's get our trucks down here, tow trucks, the whole nine yards, grab all chainsaws, fuel. Here we go. Let's turn and burn, boss man. We got work to do. Oh, yes, we do. A lot of work. I feel like we're going to be up and working until like, I don't know, probably midnight. Yeah, for sure. The nice part is nobody was injured in those cars that were flipped into the ditch. Super good. Talk to the fire department, all that kind of stuff. They got them out there pretty safely. Some actually walked away. So we'll just get those cars out of the ditch and all of our cars off our roof. And then fix the ground and then patch the holes and then clean up the garbage and 
Oh. Yep. There's a lot to this do. This is going to be crazy. Is there room to go around those cones? Um, I was hoping we could fit in between, but I don't think so. Yeah, just go that way. 10-4. I'm going to knock out the truck on the right here if you want to hit the van. I can do that. And where are we going to put these? Just off to the side? We're just going to get them out of the ditch, get them flipped back over, and we can also call the owners and stuff too. So if they want to save a little bit of money, well, at least get them on flat ground, man. We'll get supports out. The boom's going to go up and over, and we should drop the winch. It'll be good. These should be pretty easy flip overs here. We're attached. Looks good. Let's go ahead and start winching. How's it going over here? I just got attached, man. Give me a second. Come on. Get it on its feet. There we go. This there truck, go. it's a diesel. It's kind of heavy. Oh, we can handle it. We've pulled much heavy. Ooh, actually, it's definitely weighing I know. I think I put the boom. I wasn't paying attention. I'm in a hurry, man. We got to take it slow. Let's rotate her over. She's about to drop. Oh, yeah. Okay, watch your boom. That's looking good. There we go. And I released it. And let me detach from the winch. And that guy's on the ground at the very least. Four tires. None of them are flat. I'm surprised. Let's get this van over. Here it goes. Okay. That was simple. That was, like, kind of scary how easy it was. Like, I still got to get through the ditch, but... I don't think that's going to be much of a challenge. Here we go. I'll try not to damage it too much, but I think the damage has already been done. Yeah, I agree. This truck, I don't know what it looked like before it went in the ditch, but it's pretty bad. It looks like it already had some rust on it. Here we go. Pull her out of the ditch and wherever you think is good. You can keep going a little more. I could drop it in this ditch. No, no. We got to pull another one out of there. Sorry, I parked in a bad spot there. All good. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right there because I can't go any further forward. Going to winch her up here so I can get her nice and close and then drop her down. Perfect. One more. You got it? Yeah, I can get it. There we go. We got them hooked up. And I'm thinking just drag it and we got to flip it over some way, but at least just drag it out of the ditch for now. Okay. So, like, literally drag it or? Let's just see what happens. I'll stand on it. Take, go for a little uh, ride. A little sled ride. You want to stand on this? Are you 100% sure? I'm not liable for anything that happens to you, okay? Go ahead and winch. Yeah, this is working out well. Okay. Skid's really good on the roof. Yeah, um, this doesn't feel very productive. How do we actually get this thing on its feet? Skid loader and forks could do it pretty quick. You want to try getting the skid loader over here? Well, we're going to need it in the dozer. That's the next step. Come on, flip over. There we go. That was pretty good. Maybe today will be a good day. I'm going to start cleaning up some of these trees. I brought my Husqvarna. Okay, go for it, man. I don't even know where some of these trees came from. We didn't have any of these guys planted near us. They must oh, have broke off. Oh, I think off. they... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they came from a while away. Is our campgrounds okay? The one we just built? I don't know. I've not checked it either. Oh, we lost a couple of trees. Dang it. That's not the end of the world, though. Because the tornado was on the other side of the road, went, went by our warehouse, by our power sports store, and so the wind must have been pretty heavy through here. Took out a couple of these baby trees. Good. Our shack, our gate is holding up. I'm surprised the gate didn't get torqued or bent with all the wind. That's good. Well, let's fire up the dozer. We're going to need it. Let's start getting this tracked over here, and we're going to need it to grade out some of the road, start slicking things up. Let's see if I can get this yellow guy, the trailer, off the building. Yeah, you should just be able to drive that thing forward, I'd assume. Oh, yeah, it's going. It's going. Oh, the scraping noise is terrible. Okay. We're good, though. Just, you know, a little bit of paint should do it. Yeah, we're going to need... Good thing we have the power washer here. All this stuff is covered because... When the tornado came through, it went through fields and stuff, bare dirt. Picked up all the dirt and just chucked it everywhere while it was raining. So it kind of caked it on everything. Some things are obviously dirtier than others. So we're going to need to power wash stuff too. So I'm thinking we'll bring all the trucks over here, get them cleaned up. Yep, I think that's a good plan. Yeah, this should work pretty good. That way, we the real issue is just paint marks and dents and scratches, all that kind of stuff. But at least we got the dirt off and we can start from somewhere. Now, Spencer, I'm going to need your help over here. What's up? Well, we have two trucks that are trying to make little truck babies. What are you thinking here? Just trying to winch it off? That's what I'm thinking. Like, there's really just no good way to do it. It's pretty well on there, and it's going to scratch no matter what we do. Just start winching. If we need the other tow truck, we'll use it, but just see what happens, honestly. Put the parking brake on the blue one. Okay. Oh, look at the suspension of it. As long as this blue truck doesn't flip over, we should be okay. Fast winch. It's fast winch. Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is it not angle? going? Look at my tow truck. Oh, dang it. Oh, let me weigh it down. Where's your wife when we need her? I know. That's what I was thinking, too. Let me think. Let me reverse. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's kind of helping. Come on. Come on. She's hung up. She's hung up. 
Yeah, just lower that arm. Okay. Uh, there we go. We're doing the little shake and oh, bake. Oh, jeez. Yep, we got it. We got it. Are you good over there? Yep, I'm good. She's back on the ground. Go ahead, detach. This is probably going to need some body work done. Yeah, the nice part is all the, like, none of the engines got damaged. It's just, yeah, the bodies got smoked. I mean, they're going to be totaled. There's so much, like, frame twisting and all that kind of stuff, but. There you go. Yeah, it's working. Honestly, sir, just bringing stuff over. We need to organize, wash, just get things out of the way so we can get guys building the buildings back up fixing garage doors broken glass all that kind of stuff they're cleaning up pretty nice but the paint is terrible look at look at that it's like a tree branch just came and just rubbed alongside of it this is our pink one we always get a lot of comments about this one of our truck drivers loves to drive it everybody's staring and looking at him honestly it's one of the better paint jobs we have here yeah it's held up the best but look at the trailer something smoked the side of it my guess is a tornado yep you're probably right well, our paint booth is going to get a lot of work if we want to do that. I think just leave the dents and scratches and then just paint right over it. And sometimes insurance companies, they'll give you money back for like the de the depreciation and like, you know, everything got a little devalued with all these scratches. Yeah, our insurance company is not going to like us. We have so many businesses that are all going to have claims today. So, um, there's a boulder here. Have you seen this? Yeah, I was thinking like, the dozer where, probably would knock that out. Where did this even come from? Was it I underground? Did it just from soaring from like nearby like house's decoration I, uh, this thing is not light let's try and move this boulder with the dozer real quick here we go we got it out of the hole and now i just gotta push it i'm thinking just push it like out into the trees into our grove here not worry about it again and there we go that should be good yeah we'll keep it there it'll be a good thing like when people coming around with trucks or vehicles it'll keep people from going into the trees if you know it's like one of those posts or barriers to keep you from hitting stuff what are you thinking now, boss man? Let's clean up all the Amazon trucks. Yeah, most of them I think we're going to be able to do pretty easily. There's a couple, well, though. That look a little sketchy. Like maybe the one that's inside of our building? Yeah. That, that one might be a bit of a struggle. It looks like it's hanging by its front wheels or bumper. I'm, I'm going to get all these cleared up out of the way, organized. Come, some of these aren't even damaged. Boss man, don't stand underneath there, dude. You get crushed. I'm trying to see if there's anything we can do. It's like... It's in there good. This guy's got some damage on the back door, and then it looks like the box itself kind of got thrown up against the building, but not too bad compared to others. It would be cool to watch all this stuff come through. And also extremely dangerous. These guys got beat up pretty dang bad. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can jump up there, man. I got a spare key. Just reverse it off. Oh, look at this tire. Do you even have any tires touching the ground? You know, that's a good question. The only tire is the one touching the other truck. So if I put in four-wheel drive, and I hit the reverse, what's gonna happen? And you floor it. See what happens if you go straight. Yeah, this is this is gonna go really, really well. I see no possible issues with this plan. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go, full send. All right, I'm reversing. Oh, yeah. Hey, that worked okay. out pretty good. What do I do with this guy? Tow truck or floor it again? Point of it's... contact is front bumper and rear bumper, and that's it, no tires. So if I jump in there and floor it, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Here he comes. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Just oh, I'm just it. going for it, man, full send. Okay, you got it, go. you got it. Drive, drive, drive. Oh, the windows. Oh, gosh. Go, go. Okay, okay. Maybe not full set. Oh, kind okay, of. Back up. Did that work? -ish? You absolutely it's... smoked all the second story windows right there, but honestly. It's okay. It's okay. I can get out of the ditch, too. Now, maybe. let's see if I can drive it out first. Okay, probably a good idea. She fires up. That's the most important the engines in the front. Okay. Oh, here, I'll give you a push. I'm trying to actually reverse out. I'm thinking that'll be a oh. bit easier. Well, you're working with very minimal space. Uh, you might get it. Yep, you're good. We got one last one, and I don't know how we're getting it down. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Um. You probably were trying to. We could get a chainsaw and cut it in half. We could hook a chain to this rear bumper and just floor it. Or at what direction? Towards the right wall, the left wall, the roof, or the floor? None of those sound like good options. Here's my plan, boss man. You go ahead, do what you gotta do, but I'm gonna run up here real quick, see if I can get the engine started, see if there's oil leaking or whatever, and then I might just floor it from there and send it. Okay. I'm climbing this up the is, boom. Yep, this is all on you if it goes bad. Walk up the boom, come on, and jump. All right, I am officially in it. We are looking straight up into the clouds. Yeah, are you gonna space? There we go, we started it up. What do you think, reverse or forward? I think neither, but you're going to have to just flip a coin. Here we go. Reversing it. Oh, jeez. We're coming through the window. So you're on the ground now. It's progress-ish. Yeah, maybe grab the bulldozer and tap me down. I'll angle the blade and hopefully it won't cause too much damage. Here we go. Floor it. Okay. Oh, that actually oh. worked out perfect as long as you weren't underneath me. 
I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Now, is there any chance of getting that thing out, or am I going to have to push you out of here? I'm not too sure if there's enough room. These aren't supposed to be inside of here. It's smoking white. I bet some oil got in places it shouldn't be. I'm thinking a 55-point turn could do it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay, that might not work. Yeah, we just got too many boxes and supplies in here. Here we go. All oh, that dumpster's in a terrible spot, and then the cutout in the building. I think you'll make it, I think. Dude, Maybe. there's no way. It's, oh, gee. If, yeah, if you can get your back end over this way a bit. Oh, yep, that works, too. Just floor it and hit the building. Coming through. Move or lose it. Now it's time. Get the skid steer over here. I'm going to start chugging away in the dozer, and we're going to level out all this rut stuff. Let's clean up this branch real quick. And I think that's the last of tree debris in our way to get this road back up and run. We're also going to need a dump truck. Hire the guy that hauls gravel for us. Tell him to bring in a bunch of fill dirt. Okay. Looks like we got a truckload of fill. Bring the dozer over. Start dumping, man. Spencer, he let me take his truck. Isn't this thing sick? Yeah, I've never seen something like that, honestly. Just dump right yep. there and I'll push. Heck yeah. Sweet, man. That holds so much. Oh, yeah. Don't tip, dude. Do not tip. It's getting sideways. Oh, Don't tip. Yeah. Come on, come on, out of the ditch. There we go. Well, good job dumping. This shouldn't be too bad to push over. Go get another load, and I'll keep moving this stuff. There we go. Turn the blade. This stuff's pretty heavy stuff. It takes a couple passes, but we'll fill her in. Bossman and I switch positions. He's pushing dirt. I'm going to keep hauling it, and we're about halfway done for our property line right here. So I'll see you guys in a bit once we got it cleaned up. Let's hammer down. Well, now we're just compacting this. Honestly, it's more like a trench now than anything that we're filling in. It's not perfect. Like right there, we probably need a little more dirt. But over the next couple weeks, it'll settle. It'll compact it itself. And then we'll go concrete over this, put some gravel underneath. She'll look pretty. I'll let you keep running the dozer. We got this all trenched in. But then I'll show you guys real quick down here by the fire trucks. Yeah, we haven't filled this in, which this isn't as important. There's a couple trees still around. This is actually pretty important. We need to fill this driveway in, so... Bossman's gonna knock that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash like button. Hopefully we don't have any more tornadoes in the future. Those are not fun.